Hey guys, in this video, I'd like to show you how to bake curvature map based on the height information you painted in Substance Painter. So some of you guys might have the same problem as I did. Uh, when I first saw these skin materials, I really want to try them. So when I was sculpting this guy in ZBrush, I didn't add any micro details on the skin. If I just turn off all these layers, as you can see, there's no skin detail, uh, the micro skin detail at all. So if I turn this layer on, as you can see, all these little bump information are from these materials. They're really nice and handy. But the problem is, once I've done this, uh, once, once I start to paint colors for the skin, one method I use a lot is to use curvature map as a mask and make the skin color a little bit more complex. And um, if I just turn on the mask channel, it's a really good way to paint skin textures. Um, but the problem is, the original curvature map I baked from my high poly model doesn't have any bump information at all, which is something like this. Um, so what I need is to have a curvature map with these little details. Um, so what I have to do is so first of all, I just duplicate this layer on top here as the one I marked with this red color. Um, so if I turn this one off and turn this one on, as you can see, the height information on this one is really intense. Um, the reason why is, uh, so if I turn on the height channel, as you can see, all these are 100%. And if you compare uh, with these ones, they are only four or five. So the, the reason is that I really want to bake this information nice and clean uh, because with these ones, uh, it's there, but the information is not strong enough. So from here, by this, uh, with this one turned on, all you have to do, maybe I'll, actually I'll just lower this a little bit like that. And then what you can do is um, just export textures and I'm just gonna export 2k and then just just throw them on the desktop so once I've done that all I need is this uh, normal map so I'm, I'm just gonna delete everything else and then back to this one here so go to my project. I'm just gonna copy this right here. Say texture and project import. Now I have this normal map with me, so I can just delete this one. And also I can turn off this height information as well. And then bring this new normal map back in here. Now, with the, um, now with this normal information, I can just um, um, bake mesh maps, and so you ha you so you want to bake this new curvature map. So you turn off everything else, and remember you you want to turn this world space normal map on as well. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work. So you can delete that and two K map. And I think that's it. And then you just bake the curvature map. See, this curvature map is updating as well. If I just uh, export this map, and you can see it has all this little information here. And to me, this is way too strong as well. I might bring this down a little bit more, but you got the idea. When it comes to rendering, you can also use this map for your uh, specular, and you can paint some parts in black in Photoshop and uh, use this as a specular map too. Uh, it actually works quite well for me as well. So here you can see um, these little white uh, areas, they're all from that map, which is quite handy. Um, and I think that's that's all for today and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one